Hey, I want to take you over here and show you what the sunflowers looking like. Just put these in like about a week ago and uh, lost a couple there. So we sprinkled a few more sunflowers in there. And so we're getting the small ones come up. But this is amazing. Sunflowers go incredibly fast. These guys are already, uh, that tallest one there is about a foot tall. So the sunflowers are going to be uh, the kind of plant that drops down a long taproot. And you can get, you can dig down two or three feet deep if you can and amend down there because it'll send down a taproot about three feet. So uh, what we'll do is get some of these growing for a couple reasons. One, you don't know which ones are going to survive. But the other thing is you need a little bit of uh, help from each of them to, there's no stake holding them up so they'll kind of help uh, each other get propped up there and so they don't fall over and now last year we grew these we had some that were 10 feet tall and uh, many that were in the eight nine foot size and uh, the seed heads were as big as uh, a bowling ball and uh, so we harvested a bunch of the seeds from that and if you look back at one of our videos you can uh, see how we did it and we actually did another video on on how we potted them up so I gave you a few tricks and you know when I look at this this is actually loofah right here so we'll pick this one out of there but all these right here are gonna be sunflowers so we'll have to go through there and and thin some out and see what they're starting to look like now. So they start off looking kind of like this, and then the leaves will change as it goes up to the to the uh, next set of leaves. So anyhow, keep checking back with us here at the Lufa Ranch, and we'll share with you more about growing things, oh, vegetables, our Lufa, and sunflowers. It's a great thing to have in the garden, add some nice color, and uh, Honestly, for us, it's also a diversion because we have beavers over here in the creek and they like to come into the fields and, and damage some of the plants. So they really like to, to go at the sunflowers. So we thought, well, if we diverted them maybe with that, that we might have a better harvest and they won't go to uh, our loofah or any other plants that we have out. So, all right, well, that's uh, what's going on here over at the loofah ranch. Thanks for coming by. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe, hey, hit the subscribe button. We've got a lot of new content coming out every week. Uh, we'll see you, and God bless.